All right, well, we're back from California bracing. We had a good trip. Our coilovers worked, you know, nearly perfectly. We made one adjustment and uh, we uh, put our suspension arms in. They were good. We got to drive some awesome roads. Mm -hmm. Um, the Model 3 is a really cool car. I think we were both kind oh, of... Oh yeah, more than impressed with the yeah. Model 3. Even in stock form, it's a really great car to drive. And yeah, definitely beat our expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, enjoy the video about our journey with uh, Tesla Model 3 tuning. Yeah. We've got our Motec L150 and our harness for the Tesla Model 3. So we're just gonna install it in the car now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're running our whole data analysis system off the uh, M150 here. Uh, we're just mounting it in the back behind the center console. And we've got, uh, got all of our shock pots attached to it. So we're actually just running them out the door here. And so basically what the shock pot does is it measures, measures resistance along a uh, track inside the inside the shock body here. Yeah, so here is it uh, on the screen. So all the shock pots are installed and we can see everything uh, along with a bunch of other data that we collect from the GPS sensor and accelerometers uh, on our MoTeC data logger here. Um, and that just helps us tie in what we feel with what we observe um, to fine tune the suspension. Uh -huh. Where's the, do you see a rear? Right, these are the rears and right and left. Right is, it, is it being monitored here though? Spring, front, no, right. Front, 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 right, front, right, front. It's only rear, oh, height, rear, wheel, travel. So it should, yeah. be, it should be this one here. See if anything changes. Yep. Yeah, it's doing stuff? Sick. Yep. Cool, man. went for a test run with um, kind of our middle of the road springs um, and the valving is really good um, we're just trying to fine-tune just a little bit of really almost smooth road undulations um, when you hit a really big bump the bigger the bump the better it feels but when it's a really really small bump it's just a little bit harsh so we're trying to tune that out and we're just going through the MoTeC data now and we can see see the position of the wheel uh, in every corner and then we use that data um, to do a bunch of math with and uh, look at it in different ways to try and find out where we need to be to be adjusting things so yeah stay tuned 
All right, so here's kind of a glimpse of what we're looking at in the data, and we're just uh, spending a lot of time at night on the road fine-tuning these dampers. So you can see here we're doing some um, steering response, um, and then the dampers are really easy to adjust. We can do it without having to jack the car up or do anything, and we just keep making changes the data and, our, and as we feel we need to um, to kind of get a balance of the ideal comfort while still having uh, incredible steering response and balance and on high speed corners. So we're just pulling out the front shocks, uh, putting the OEM ones back in. Uh, we're gonna go to KW in the morning and we're gonna revalve the front dampers only. So I think the front dampers uh, are a bit too harsh. So we're gonna we're gonna choose something a little bit softer. So, we've got our front coilovers out, uh, so they're ready to go off to KW tomorrow morning to get revalved, and we're going to drive over there in the Model 3, but we need some other suspension to get us there, so we're going to put the stock stuff back in the car, and hopefully we uh, don't go to bed before midnight. Yeah. Alright, so we're just on the way to... Uh... KW here, volume down. We're going to revalve these uh, front dampers. So, right now we're riding on the stock front suspension. It's a little bit, a bit of a strange ride, huh, Bryson? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like we're leaning back a little bit. But what do we got here? Look at this. Some brand new Model 3s being delivered to some lucky owners. Alright, so we were just at KW, and unfortunately, I uh, forgot our GoPro. so didn't get any cool footage, but uh, we were working with Tim there, he's a really great guy. Um, spent some time making some adjustments to these dampers. Uh, should be really good now. Get a little bit of low speed compression out of them. Got more range, um, so we can really dial the compression in. And uh, these guys were working on the car. Bryson was working on the car while we were while I was at KW and charging it, so pretty efficient. Use of our time here, but it's in the middle of a parking lot in the rain, so not the most comfortable working conditions. And, we haven't gotten kicked out yet, which is nice, so yeah. all is good. Let's throw these things in. Just uh, going up La Honda here on our way to this Tesla meetup, and uh, we just dropped Bryson off at the airport. So he's off to Texas to race with the Fab Boys, and we're gonna take some guys for rides in our uh, new suspension here for the Model Three. We're already carving corners. I mean, it actually doesn't feel too far away from stock. Right, that's kind of our goal. Yeah. That's good. Doesn't feel obnoxiously harsh. 
No, it doesn't. Not at all. It's like more flat because in the 19 versus 18 it makes a difference too. Absolutely, like yes, for sure. Yeah, that's one of the thing, uh, things I was worried about. Because Eric, you have the. I have the 18 there, yeah. yeah. But like way less roll. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I feel it like it is a little bit soft on the first tiny hit. Yeah, feels good. Yeah. Yeah, like even that, like it's it's good. Yeah. It's got a good kind of like it'll crash dampening to it. All right, so we just uh, finished our meet. We had a really good turnout. We had like uh, 14 people or 15 people come out, and uh, yeah, it was just great. Uh, everyone had just. Great things to say, and there were a lot of motorsport enthusiasts, so we're feeling really good about um, producing some aftermarket parts for this car. Um, it was just cool to see the, the passion for EV enthusiasts um, that want to go fast too, not just I mean, care about climate change in the world and stuff, but also want to go fast. So it was a great time, and we're really glad we did it. And uh, the rain held off, it just started now, so that was perfect. So that's it. That's a wrap pretty much on our California trip. We're gonna put the car back to stock tomorrow and uh, hang out with the wife and daughter for a couple days and then head back home to Toronto. Thanks guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.